Is it time to buy or sell the SPY ETF? In this video, we will explore SPY in depth. Our initial report was published on Thursday, the 29th of August, 2024, and we are here to offer you an even more comprehensive analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest insights. You don't want to miss any important information that could influence your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, at stockinvest.us. Experience the capabilities of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please be aware that this video is intended for informational purposes only and should not be regarded as financial advice. Since the 7th of August, 2024, our system has ranked SPY as a buy candidate, assigning it a score of 1.36. Now let's examine the stock's performance during this period. The stock has experienced a gain of 7.65%. This equates to an average return of 0.45% each day since it was designated as a buy candidate. The exchange traded fund is currently situated within a weak upward trend in the short term, indicating the likelihood of a further increase within this trend. The current three month trend indicates a potential change of approximately 2.64% over the next three months, with an expected return ranging from negative 4.12% to positive 5.20%. Regarding the 12 month trend, it suggests a change of around 31.71% over the coming year, with a potential return between 24.42% and 37.45%. This projection corresponds to a price range from $694.68 to $767.42 after one year. Our latest daily update for SBY features the headline, SPY ETF upgraded from hold accumulate to buy candidate after Thursday's trading session. The SPY ETF price experienced a gain of 0.0054% on the last trading day, which was Thursday, the 29th of August, 2024. The price increased from $558.30 to $558.33. Throughout the trading day, the ETF fluctuated by 1.16%, ranging from a low of $557.18 to a high of $563.67. The ETF has seen an increase in 6 out of the last 10 days and has risen by 0.95% over the past 2 weeks. The trading volume decreased on the last day by 5 million shares, with a total of 35 million shares traded amounting to approximately $19.5 billion. It is important to note that decreasing volume on rising prices indicates a divergence and might serve as an early warning of potential changes in the upcoming days. In the last 52 weeks, the ETF reached its highest price of $565.15 and its lowest price of $409.21. Currently, the price stands 1.21%, or $6.82, below the 52-week high of $565.15, which also represents the all-time high for the ETF. Recent developments surrounding the SPDR S&P 500 ETF, known by its ticker SPY, highlight a cautious sentiment in the market as it approaches record highs. Investors are expressing concerns about market concentration, particularly with the mega-cap technology stocks. This trend has prompted a shift towards equal-weight exchange-traded funds, suggesting a diversification strategy amid apprehension about over-reliance on a handful of stocks. Additionally, the ProShares S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrats ETF has posted significant gains, further emphasizing the demand for steady dividend payers in a more volatile environment. Investors may regard these aristocrats as safer investments, particularly as economic indicators signal fluctuating market conditions. On another front, hedge funds have shifted to bearish positions on the S&P 500, with recent data showing a notable increase in short-selling activity. 
This pivot raises questions about the sustainability of the current rally and may introduce more volatility in the near term. In the backdrop of possible interest rate cuts expected from the Federal Reserve, real estate investment trusts are gaining attention, potentially drawing capital away from equities like SPY. Investors should proceed with caution as these dynamics evolve. The following signals have been identified for SPY. The SPY ETF currently shows a sell signal from the short-term moving average. However, there is a buy signal from the long-term average. With the short-term average positioned above the long-term average, a general buy signal exists for the ETF, suggesting a positive outlook for the stock. Should it rise further, the ETF may encounter resistance from the short-term moving average at approximately $559.70. Conversely, if it declines, support can be anticipated from the long-term average at around $547.86. A breakout above the short-term average will trigger a buy signal, while a drop below the long-term average will indicate a sell signal. Additionally, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or MACD. It is noteworthy that volume decreased during the last trading day, even as prices rose, creating a divergence between volume and price that may serve as an early warning signal. Therefore, the ETF should be monitored closely. Some negative signals have also emerged, which could affect short-term developments. A sell signal was generated from a pivot top point on Friday, August 23, 2024, with a decline of 0.665% thus far. Further declines are expected until a new bottom pivot is established. Here are some additional signals that may pique your interest. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a buy signal. Pivots showed a sell signal five days ago. Bollinger signals a buy from 17 days ago. The short-term moving average has a sell signal from three days ago. The long-term moving average indicates a buy signal from 12 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages noted a buy signal nine days ago. Examining the 12-month chart reveals, the short moving average presented a buy signal 14 days ago. The long-term moving average also indicated a buy signal 17 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages recorded a buy signal 191 days ago. For more signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Let's discuss the support, risk, and stop loss for SPY. SPY finds support from accumulated volume at $532.90. This level may present a buying opportunity as an upward reaction is anticipated when the support is tested. This exchange-traded fund experiences average daily movements and with robust trading volume, the risk is regarded as medium. Over the past day, the ETF fluctuated $6.49 between its high and low, which is a change of 1.16%. Additionally, in the last week, the ETF has shown an average daily volatility of 0.99%. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for SPY. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for SPY is at $559.99. If you do not currently own any shares, it may be prudent to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those who already hold the stock, this could be a point to consider for swing trading. On the downside, SBY faces its first support level at $532.90. If this support level remains intact, it could serve as a favorable entry point, anticipating a potential rebound. Our recommended stop loss is set at $541.77, representing a decrease of 2.97%. This exchange-traded fund experiences medium daily fluctuations, indicating a medium level of risk. The 14-day relative strength index is 78, which significantly heightens the risk. Additionally, there is a sell signal from a pivot top identified 18 days ago. Is this PY ETF a worthwhile investment? Several short-term indicators, coupled with an overall positive trend, suggest that the current level may present a buying opportunity. 
there is a reasonable chance for the SPI ETF to perform favorably in the near future. Consequently, we have revised our analysis conclusion for this ETF from a hold or accumulate stance to a buy recommendation. Upon examining the volatility and movements from the previous trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Friday, the 30th of August, we anticipate that CEPY will open higher by $1.40 and begin trading at $559.73. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and you should consult with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. It is important not to base your investment decisions solely on the information provided by StockInvest.us. By utilizing this information, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment choices. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. What is your target for the Exchange Traded Fund? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.